Making posable characters in Inkscape. All right. If you're like me, uh, you have a terrible time with consistency. So, uh, luckily you can use grouping of objects when you, uh, you can do your character designs on Inkscape and then you can, the way you can group them, you can uh, make them posable as well. So, I'm making the torso now. And then you can add an arm. And if I was smart, I would just duplicate that. But I'm not, so. Upper arm. All right, and then go for the forearm. And we'll give them the old black gloves. So that way we don't have to draw the individual fingers. But if we had to, we could always delete a hand and then uh, draw a better one if we need the hand to move at all. belt because uh, as long as he has a belt he's not naked for some odd reason until we add the coloring all right give him some eyes maybe we can do a little bit of some shading or something Look at that collarbone. A lot of I used to not draw them for a while, but you need that. All right, now we'll have the upper leg. This leg does not match the other leg, so maybe I'll just duplicate the other one. Or not. Alright. I guess I should add this part of that. Wow, that does not look good. I'm deleting that. Alright. I shouldn't have done this whole shape. I should have just, uh, I don't know. Luckily it's tweakable, so if you don't like something, you can just redraw it when you look at the overall picture. Alright, now we can 
start to color it. We're going to color it shape by shape. So we'll do the torso here. it to gray, hit page down until it goes all the way to the bottom. Then upper arm. Page down. Do this for the rest. Hopefully, I'll fast forward this so you don't have to deal with it. Okay, so now let's start grouping. So I don't want that, so I'm going to hit shift and click that off there. All right, I'm going to group the head. Group the hand. I guess control G is, is group, so. Control G. Let's drag it off. Okay, Control Z to bring it back. All right, Let's Control G. See if that. Yep, that's it. Control Z, bring it back. 
All right, no, let's see if I can get there. Nope, I gotta hit shift there. Okay, nope, that's not gonna do it. All right, let's try the torso. All right, control G. Can I do everything? Yep, all right, control Z. Actually, yeah, control Z, page down. You get it underneath everything. All right, control G. Yep, all right, control Z. Control G. Nope, I didn't get everything, control Z. Control G. Control find, I guess. Control G. I don't know what I did. Control G. Let's see if that's it. Yep. All right. Control Z. Bring it back. Page down and bring it underneath the knee. Control G. Page down. Make sure. Okay. Control Z. All right, let's get the feet. Control G. And control G. Now we have our posable figure. So in order to make these things move the right way, if you want to rotate the whole leg, hit shift. You click the leg, upper leg, shift, click the lower leg, shift, click this one. Then you uh, let go of shift and you, and you can just click it one more time. Move the axis point to where you would need to move it. And you could uh, page down. And you see the possibilities of posing these where you want it to be. So then you move the axis point to the knee. And you have a posable figure right now. You just got to shift select it, click it again, find and move the axis point to where you need to. Hit page down to get it below where you need it to go. and you have your posable figure and so you don't really need bones if you just move that axis point so that way uh if you're doing like a comic strip like garfield like how many poses does garfield have like he, they're not redrawing everything like they have their same poses and they, they can put them in there so, so could you you know this is how you can maybe get better at consistency. Uh oh. I think I forgot to do an arm. Told you. There we go. Page down. So there you go. It's posable. You know. It's something that I haven't seen a video on, but maybe there's a reason for that. But you know. You just move it a little bit. Tweak it where you need it to go. Let's see, you got to move that axis point. So there you go. Sorry, having fun posing with this guy. So and then you know, when you compose your scene or whatever, you can, uh, you know, duplicate them. Uh, don't do that. Hit shift. Is it shift? Nope not shift uh, control there we go control does the scale and then you can put them in there oh you want a close-up shot okay you know and then you could add the detail later anyway there you go another video uh, thank you tw the 12 to 21 people that are watching these things I really appreciate you guys and I hope this is of some use to uh, people if you don't have if you have the real deal if you have illustrator I'm sure you can do similar things but this is inkscape and there's another trick for you guys so thank you guys for listening i really appreciate it thanks bye